Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Captain Joseph Solicito, Commanding Officer of the Training Division. And on behalf of Police Commissioner Charles Gardner and the entire Yonkers Police Department, I welcome you on this special occasion. Today we are pleased to recognize nine probationary police officers that successfully completed their police training at the Westchester County Police Academy. They also completed an advanced recruit training program at the Yonkers Police Training Division. We are very proud of our recruits on their well-deserved graduation. So if everyone can just give them a big round of applause. I ask that you please rise as the police color guard presents the colors. Keeping in mind the members of our armed forces engage in combat around the world and the sacrifices they make every day in order to secure our freedom, I ask that you please join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, invisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ladies and gentlemen, the Yonkers Police Color Guard under the direction of Lieutenant Mark Bayaka. Thank you very much. Please remain standing as our police chaplain, sorry, Reverend Norman invokes a blessing in our proceedings. Good afternoon. To the family, to the friends, to the elected officials, to those of law enforcement. I want to say congratulations to the recruits, new recruits, and to those who served in the military. Since I'm a former Marine, as we say, once a Marine, always a Marine. I want to congratulate you on your tour of duty. We want to thank you for that. Let's bow our hearts before the Lord. Father, we just come before you and we ask your blessings upon these festivities. We ask, oh God, that you would bless the family, the friends, Bless our elected officials. Bless those who put their lives on the line day in and day out. And oftentimes without gratitude, without applause. They do what they do because they love it and it's a job that they delight in doing. We ask God that you would bless these young recruits. We ask that your angels would surround them and keep them safe as they continue to serve. We ask you to bless them. Bless them with a mindset of being civil, courageous, and admirable in their tour of duty. Give them the strength. May they not get weary in well-doing, but they continue to be a blessing as they uphold the integrity of the Yonkers Police Department and the city government that they serve and the community that they protect. We ask your blessings this day. We pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Reverend. Please be seated. We are honored today to have many dignitaries with us. We have our elected officials who provide the resources for our department, our leaders in the department, as well as friends and colleagues in city government and law enforcement. I'll take a few moments to introduce them, and I ask that you just hold your applause until we're done with the introductions. The Mayor of the City Yonkers, Mike Spano. Police Commissioner, Charles Gardner. Deputy Chief, Frank Cariello from the Field Services Bureau. Deputy Chief, Tim Hodges from the Investigations Bureau. And Deputy Chief, John Muller from the Support Services Bureau. Our Reverend, Reverend William Norman, representing the First District, Council Member Chris Johnson, Minority Leader Michael Sabatino, 
representing the 5th District, Mike Green. From the New York State Assembly, Shelly Meyer. From the 3rd Precinct, Lieutenant Ralph Carroza. Representing the 4th Precinct, Captain Emil Cavorti. From the Internal Affairs Division, Detective Captain Richard Doyle and Detective Lieutenant Robert Sorchuk. From the Intelligence Unit, Detective Lieutenant Cal Nasser. From the Field Services Bureau, Captains Paul Rice. And from Community Affairs, Detective Lieutenant Pat McCormick. Thank you everyone for being here. At this time, it gives me great pleasure to call upon the mayor of the city of Yonkers, Mike Spano, for his remarks. Thank you, Captain. And to the police commissioner, to our state assemblywoman, I tell you, mayor is here, to uh, the minority leader, to see Council Mike Sabatino, Councilman Johnson, Councilman Breen, my councilman. Uh, we're all pleased to be here today uh, at this police graduation ceremony. I want to say congratulations to all nine of you who have uh, gone through the course and have succeeded and have passed with flying colors and now will lead uh, and become part of the Yonkers family, notably the Yonkers police family. I want to thank you for your dedication over the last several months uh, and for your choosing Yonkers for a place for you to have your police career. Uh, we know that this job's not always easy. I have three brothers who are police officers, two nephews who are police officers. It's not an easy job for each and every one of you. It's certainly not an easy job for them because they're the ones who uh, worry about you each and every day. Um, but I think that all of you should know that uh, Yonkers has the finest police department in the country. Uh, they will get the best, they have gotten the best training. Uh, the city council continues to provide uh, for their safety and well-being, putting over $2 million in the capital budget just for uh, improvements, infrastructure, vehicles, etc. So the city council continues to, to do what they need to do to make sure that we have the finest trained, the finest equipment, and let's face it, you can't put a price tag on what uh, your support mechanism are, and that's the men and women in blue who are out there ready to and having your back anytime you need to. Uh, so know that uh, while we hold you in very much in high regard, uh, we also know that uh, there's a tremendous amount of responsibility that goes with being a police officer. In today's environment, uh, thank, as the Reverend Norman said, sometimes it's a thankless job. You're not going to get a thank you every day. but I know with your training and I know with your background checks that the police department has done that you'll that you will hold uh, the public in the highest regard the way we hold you in high regard and that's uh, very important to each and every one of us to make sure that the public feels respected and feels uh, protected and I know and I have no doubt that they will be uh, with this group of cl with this class so I wanted to say uh, thank you for your strong support. Again, thank you uh, to your families for their support because uh, you can't do a job that you're doing without the support of your family. And again, congratulations to each and every one of you on your graduation. Uh, may God bless you. Uh, bless the city of Yonkers and, and, uh, and bless the entire police department. Thank you. As always, thank you, Mayor. Well, time has passed by quickly, and our new recruits are ready to enter the next phase of their training. In a short matter of time, they'll be ready for patrol and will add some much needed strength to our department. These nine new police recruits will help keep our city safe and keep Yonkers the great city that it is. Before they are introduced and presented with their certificates of graduation, I'd just like to tell you a little bit more about the training they received. At the police academy, they spend 20 long weeks learning about all things police. And they'll tell you if you ask them, they were long weeks. Some of the topics include, but not limited to, the penal law, criminal procedure law, the vehicle and traffic law, emergency vehicle operations, they learned about cultural diversity, defensive tactics, arrest techniques, 
basic first aid, report writing, firearms training, domestic violence training, and the list goes on and on, but we're gonna stop there. Upon successful completion of the police academy, the Yonkers Police Department further trains our recruits for several more weeks at the training division. So I guess you guys get in the picture now. It's pretty complex, it's, it's um, very diverse. The next phase of the training that the recruits will encounter is the field training program. This program lasts approximately nine weeks. This is where the police recruits are partnered with a senior field training officer and they go out in the field to, um, to apply what they've learned. Upon conclusion of the field training program, each recruit will be assigned to a precinct. At this point, I now ask that the mayor and police commissioner Gardner come to the podium for the presentation of certificates. So as I call your name, please come forward. Police officer Steven Cedar, shield number 1113. Police officer Philip McDonough, shield number 1114. Police officer Michael Malizia. Shield number 1115. Police Officer Robert Spink, shield number 1118. Police Officer Sanjay Richards, shield number 1117. Police Officer Ronald Taylor, shield number 1119. Police Officer Jessica Travis, shield number 1120. Police Officer Anthony Tyndall, shield number 1121. And police officer Christopher Vingo, shield number 1122. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I am honored to introduce the Commissioner of the Police Department, Charles Gardner.
Thank you, Captain, and good afternoon. You know, today we have the distinct pleasure to recognize nine well-deserving members of our department. These officers were appointed as police officers on January 29th, and since that time they've been receiving extensive training, as you heard described by our captain just a few moments ago. Now here we are in August, almost seven months later, and they're just nearing the end of their training program. I believe that the level and the depth of the training that they're receiving demonstrates just how difficult and challenging it is to carry on, carry on the duties of a police officer in today's very complicated world. Although the formal training may be ending, you should remember that police work uh, is an evolving and changing profession and you really never stop learning. Now I've been a police officer for over 36 years and I continue to learn each and every day. So now you have the opportunity to apply the knowledge and experience that you've gained as you serve people in communities throughout our city. You should remember that it's a difficult time to be a police officer and much is expected of you from the department and the public. We're expecting you to be honest, be fair, compassionate, and firm when you need to be. We also expect you to treat all people with dignity and respect and merit they're looking to you to keep them and their families safe. So as you begin your careers, I want to congratulate you on your accomplishments thus far and wish you much success throughout the upcoming years. I'd also like to take a moment to thank our mayor and the city council. As the mayor mentioned, we're very fortunate here in the city of Yonkers to have the support of the city government, which made these hirings possible and all the support and training that we get is all possible due to the support of our elected officials. I also want to just take a moment to thank the people who put these programs together, our, our color guard, our chaplain, um, our training unit, and, and Captain Solicitor, our MC. I just want to say thank you as well. So moving right along and closing, again, congratulations to all of you. Um, may God bless you and always keep you safe. Thank you. Commissioner, thank you. I ask again that everyone please rise as our police chaplain, Reverend Norman, offers the benediction. Once again, thank you for choosing a career of service. I'd like to say something before I end up. Uh, I'm 62 years old. Uh, I've served six years in the Marine Corps, and I've served in this city in various ways uh, as a pastor um, and various uh, other entities. And uh, I enjoy serving, but it's a thankless job serving because at the end of the day, everybody doesn't see the things that you do. The other thing I want to say to you gentlemen and ladies is don't get weary in well-doing because it's a grind. It's a day in and day out grind. Law enforcement, it's a grind. But don't get weary. Don't lose sight of the vision. It's the reason as to why you took on the office to serve. Don't get weary. And thank God for families that support you and encourage you. I want to say congratulations again. Let's bow our hearts. Father, we thank you. And as these young men and young ladies go out and serve in this community, we ask once again that you would continue to protect and watch over our police department. Everyone, Lord, that serves, watch over them, keep them safe. And may they continue to have a spirit, a right spirit, a spirit of servitude. As they continue to go forth, bless them now and their families, we pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, let everyone say amen. amen. Thank you. Please be seated. Reverend, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our ceremony. Again, thank you for coming out to support the Yonkers Police Department, and there are refreshments in the lobby. Thank you for coming.